Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. And tonight we're working on the Kernian Tracker 2D milling machine. Now the spindle, the quill, is not going down. Turn this knob, and this is the part that goes down, isn't moving. Already loosened off. This is what locks it uh, once it's where you want it. And these levers here are real sticky. Like, ugh. So, something is amiss in here. And we need to just clean this out anyway. There's a couple taper pens holding these on. There's some screws. So, I'll get this stuff off. And then I will bring it back and let's take a look inside. Okay. So, I took the front cover off. Took off the... This is the mechanism that bumps the, you know, shuts off the auto feed up or down. And it's very stiff. So it needs a good cleaning. This is the rod that actuates against those. The plates here. That one's looking like that. This is also for my reference when I go to put this back together. Everything's very gummy in here. I don't feel any springs behind you. So definitely be cleaning all of this. There's a pin there. Yep. See this guy get cleaning. This thing rocks back and forth and pushes all that stuff. So now I guess I'll go to this side of the machine and start disassembly there. Nothing else. We're going to give everything a good cleaning. So, okay. I'll bring it back. Okay. Got the front off. I'll tell you what, that dial was a pain to get off there. Well, I'm taking everything super ginger, too. So there's the internal ring. As you see, it's kind of on the centric front of this guy. So that's why it turns at different ratios. So that gear looks okay. It's dirty. Get that back over there. There's all kinds of dirtiness in here. Uh, all the teeth are there. Pull this guy out. Out you. Um, there you go. Yeah, this hat is all there. You go. This tooth has weird, like uh, some bigger teeth and some smaller teeth, but they're very uniform. So I don't think they're broken. If they are, they broke exactly. No, see, it's like a star pattern. So that was on there like that. This is the shifter for the high up down. If I turn this, it's turning. So whatever the counter shaft is that this is attached to, Probably just has a sheared key or something. I think this is the grease tube. I think. So let me see how much more of this I can get apart tonight. And I'll bring you back. Okay. So I got it figured out. The quill is moving. The tolerances in here are just so tight. That the little bit of moisture that got in there. Uh, there's the wheel. I don't know if I showed it in the last part. And you can see everything's turning. This worm turn this worm turns this. And this is a clutch of sorts that this rides on. This key shaft goes on here. You put a nut on it, and that's on it right now. And clamp it down, and that's your clutch. Well, this thing is so tight, and you only have a you know a little bit of a handle there. I need to clean this up. And get the I got the plugs out. I'm gonna spray a bunch of degreaser in there overnight. Let it sit. I put the nut on there, and with a wrench, not hanging on it or nothing, just pulling on it and tapping. The quill did go up, so that's us all working. And then in the middle of cleaning all this, as you can see, this is moving. You know, much more than it was. 
this is the shifter for the kind of the high low as it were see this knob out that's moving a lot freer but uh and then there's this gummy so i'm gonna let it spray it let it sit for a day or so and get it all cleaned out yes very cool so uh shouldn't be too much more to this i'll bring it back when i get it all done yeah, it's very encouraging and again all the gears now it's all covered in uh lubricant and stuff they'll look really good in there the only one that doesn't because the moisture got to it is that bearing right there so probably have to pop that guy out yeah i i will for sure okay so that's what we did tonight <laughs> And that, this feed head is actually, the quill feed is actually very simple on this. So, yes, yeah, very cool. This is Adam from Small Time Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.